So what I've got here is a list of average temperatures, and we're going to focus on how 2D arrays work, or 2D lists, as I should say. The reason why we say list is that Python don't tend to, they don't tend to use arrays as much. You can, but with Python at GCSE, we tend to stick to lists. So what I've got here is, believe it or not, I'm going to uh, put these values in. I'm going to put 15. 14, 15, so that would be row 1. So that's like an, a single list, which we've looked at before, okay? So that would be like average. Imagine we didn't have anything else or this other bracket here, all right? If I needed to look at the value 15, I would just put average bracket, uh, average temp, square bracket, 0. But I'm go I've, got, I've got multiple rows in this. I've got 18, 17... 15 again, 18, 19, and we're going to do 17. Now, what the, the, there's something different going on with 2D arrays, okay? Something different going on with 2D arrays. The way that these work is you have rows and columns, okay? So you have your row and your column. Each one of these is classed as a row, okay? So... That would be your, if I was to get the number 14, what I would need to do, okay, is I would put, so I need the number 14, you put your, your first square bracket is the row that you're on, and the second is the position in that row. So that would be row 0, 1, Two, that would be position. That would be column zero, one, two. All right. So if I needed to value fourteen, I'm going to go to row zero, position one. If I needed to value seventeen, I would go to row one, position one. That's how you write them, okay? So if I needed the value 14, I'd go to row 0, position 1. Row 1, for position 1, for the value 17, okay? Now, what I want to be able to... This is called nesting that we're going to work on here. I'm going to show you how you can nest two loops within each other to actually find the values. Or, if I wanted to, I want to work out the grand total of all of these temperatures that are in the table. Okay? So, what I would do is, you, the best way to write these is, I will find the len, okay, of the, the, the whole thing. Okay? So, I know that, that, that I need to know how many rows there are. Okay, so what I do is I say for, all right, row in range, and I can find the length of this. So we're going to go for len of average temp. All right, and I need to close my brackets there. That is going to give me three, because it's going to tell me that there are three rows. Okay, one, two, three. So the row in range of this whole 2D array would give me the number of rows I've got. So that would be three in this case. All right, don't get confused by the index because len, all right, is how many iterations and it's inclusive of the first one. Now, here's the next bit I've got to do. I've got to do a nested loop to know which column I'm on. So what I do is I do for column in range 
But what you're going to have to do is get the len, all right? So we're going to go for len of avg temp row. I hope that makes sense because I'm using this, but I need to know the length of the row that I'm in. So I know what, how many rows I've got, but I need to know how many items are in that row. So I found the length of the array using the row. Now, that allows me to, if I wanted to, all right, to, to add up a total of all of those numbers, all right, imagine outside of your program here, I've got total equals zero, okay? What I could do is each time I go through an item, I could say total equals total plus AVG temp and I could put in there row column because what that's then doing is getting the position that I'm currently in of the row right and the column will iterate inside this loop before this one iterates. Yeah? So the value of column, this loop iterates first. So I'll go this way, this way. Then, once we've gone through every item in that row, the value of row goes up. So once you've gone through each column, the value of the row goes up, and we start back at zero for the column. All right? So, there is another way, a simpler way to do it, it, all right? You could, if you know the items, just go for row in range three, because I know there's three rows, for column in range free. So if you don't want to use len, if you don't want to use the len, you can just use, you know how many items are in it, so you could just set it to free, set it to free, and then what you could do is do total equals total plus avg temp row column and it should give you the same desired effect all right so if you're one of these that struggle with using len simplify it for yourself if the exam question says you know there are three items on each there are three rows there are three items on each one just use it that way so if it was two items per row all right so imagine i didn't have that, all right, then what I would do is rows would reduce to, if it was like that, I would reduce rows to two, but then the columns are still three, okay? So it's just about looking at what is in each item that you're on using the value. So I hope that that helps with the understanding of that a little bit, all right?